Hey y'all, we're back with March 22nd through 24th, and uh, as you can see, we got some wind, and we got some big fish. That is not the only big fish. That was my Friday pre-fishing. Um, there's a whole bunch of big fish right now, if you know where they're at, and uh, we're going to get into a little bit about where we found them. Yeah, Clear Lake is amazing. Yeah, if you want to catch some chunky fish. Yeah, we're, we're right on there. Um, as you can see in the very beginning, it was windy for us uh, right before this weekend was 70 degree weather, all that spring lovely t-shirt weather. Yeah. And when the weekend rolled around, it switched to windy up to like 20 mile an hour winds rain. from the north, rain, yeah. all the nastiness. And uh, frankly, in the beginning, I thought that that weather was going to mess with them a lot more. And um, I don't think it messed with them very much. No, no, they uh, they are definitely chewing up there. Uh, I am probably going back Saturday just yeah. because of how they're chewing. And unfortunately, well, fortunately, unfortunately, I will be going to Tennessee for a week and a half to visit family and uh won't be able to fish on this amazing clear lake bite speaking of amazing clear lake bite let's uh get into it yeah uh friday the 22nd i drove around i tried the red bud area or not red bud sorry clear lake oaks rattlesnake area i went shopping around inside there picked up a couple of small fish uh when i say small i mean like pound and a half something like that yeah pound pound and a half uh nothing i really really liked and i checked a lot of that normal rattlesnake area um i saw fish but they just weren't very active and this is also the first day of the or i guess it'd be second day of the front thursday started it friday was going um and i got about i went up north and started checking a bunch of like dock areas and stuff like that and some other little areas rodman areas and stuff like that pretty much figured out that i was going to spend the tournament on the north end and i was going to figure out as they go and about oh, i think it was like noon i hit him up because he was pre-fishing and uh we went to richmond park yeah but uh how was your morning before we went to richmond park so i did opposite from what james did i went up and launched it on fifth street because i knew that i wanted to check out that north end i didn't just want to run the boat gas and oil all the way up there so i drove all the way up there launched up there shopped around found what i kind of wanted to see and then uh, put the boat right back on the trailer uh, it started to get windy uh, drove back down to the oaks relaunched the boat down at the oaks looked around caught some small fish uh kind of the same thing just opposite right for what james did and then uh yeah he called me and was like hey you want to go to the bar yeah let me so. grab a grab a uh i actually got chili cheese fries yeah right after lunch i actually picked up a 588 which is the very first fish that you saw in this video um and that was on a dobbins beast spinnerbait um and this is, uh, I don't remember what it is, like blue shad or something like that. It's like a sexy shad version with the uh, double willows on there and a 3.8 bluegill flash uh, Kitek. Oh, let's get into the actual tournament. Um, we're going to run through this uh, Saturday. I started outside Kelsey Creek, did not like what I saw, ran up north and started hitting some dock areas on the left hand side and i was running an a rig surprise surprise up running through those docks just out front and a lot of those fish were out in front of those docks um i ended up with like 20 ish pounds in there 
and needed to do some upgrades. Our biggest fish at the time was like a four and a quarter. Our smallest fish was a 380. Um, ended up moving down to one of the creeks down on the south end of Main Lake. And that's when I picked up the mag draft in uh, freestyle. This is a white back shad and picked up a five and a half back inside of that cut. Um, right now when you're finding fish for the A-Rig, it's their schools. If you get bit, throw back in, there's probably another fish. Yeah, it, absolutely. And that, oh, my total weight was 22 and change. Yeah. Um, how'd your Saturday go? Uh, I went, cause I wanted to, you know, it was cold. First thing blast off. I ran over cause I, I caught a four over by rattlesnake, um, back there. So I went there first. Uh, I picked up three fish, three keepers, but not what you want for, um, fishing a tournament, right? I was throwing an a rig, um, bluegill flash, uh, Rainbow Shad, uh, I think mo they really were hitting the um, thread fin at that time. And I could see a bunch of fish on the bottom and they're eating, but all, all three fish that I picked up were like one fours. They weren't one and a halfs. They weren't the fish that I wanted. So I told my partner, let's go. We went to Buckingham area, pulled into a couple docks, picked up a couple threes right away. And I basically told my partner that if they're eating here, they're eating where we went pre, pre fishing, looking, scouting on uh, Friday. So we ran all the way north up to the similar docks. Well, I actually ran right into James and I, I decided to go away from him. So I went probably a half mile away. Yeah. And uh, I, we started picking up fish. Uh, my partner uh, was throwing an A rig too. He was throwing bigger baits though. I was throwing baits like James, the three threes, the 2.8s for teasers. He was throwing three, three eights and four eights on his uh, A-Rig and he was getting some good bites on his A-Rig. Uh, I was catching fish too. And like James said, if you catch a fish, unhook it and throw it right back in there. Cause it was right back to back at one point in time, my partner threw, threw in, caught a four, and I unhooked it, and I said, do it again. I put the boat on spot lock. He casted right back in there. He caught five in a row on five casts, yeah. and they're all three and a half to four pounds. Great fish, great time. Uh, he might have caught a hook in his finger. He ripped it right out. I was, it was past the barb. I was thinking I was doing surgery, but it was, yeah. it was good times. Um. And then your total weight was? I was 20, 21. 21 something. I was uh, 2169. Did you catch we, any other fish besides I caught, that? We left there because I figured that that's all we were catching. And I went down uh, towards the uh, state park and I threw a mag draft, white back shad, same as what James was throwing. But I was using a flashy swimmer beast hook on mine. Sunday was better weight for both of us. Yes. Um, Sunday is kind of when I I ran back to the same area. If you'll notice in the background of this footage, a lot of it is the same dock, same cast, just to reiterate the fact to keep making that same cast. Um, I ran back to there. The school was still there in the morning. The sun came out for the first time. Yeah. And I that school dispersed. It went up shallow. And when it went up shallow, I said, okay, they're back to spring. Like they're, they're, they obviously don't care about the storm anymore. So I turned around and I ran down to one of the creeks down um, off of Main Lake. And when I went to those creeks, I was throwing trash fish, which is, this is LC blue in the six inch. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell with this, but it is pretty beat up. This is not, I broke off a couple. This is, this is just the one that I had on at the end of the day. The one I had on before this was pretty thrashed up too. Um, and they were chewing on it. Yes. Um, 
just chucking that thing around, slow winding it. And my total weight was 2417. Correct. That was a 17. So my total weight is 2417. I had multiple five pluses uh, hooked up. Uh, one broke off, one pulled out. Story the way it is. I'm happy with 24 and I had an awesome day. Uh, me and my partner had an awesome day. Um, oh, also, almost forgot. Partner caught a five and a half on a jig rig Cinco, just flipping it in there to like a uh, like a ledge, basically like a, a wall, like a sea yeah. wall kind of thing. Uh, my day was, wasn't much different. We both ran straight towards the docks that we fished prior to. Um, I went my way, he went his way. Uh, we threw the A rig, me and my partner, and my partner did a lot of the heavy lifting uh, on Sunday. Uh, he had a, a 670 on the A rig. Uh, we had a few fives. Um, I did pick up a five on this over by Rodman, throwing it through Tuli's and stuff. Uh, great bite. Um, but uh, we ended up with 2542. On, with, like you had like a three with I had, 25 pound I had a, bag. a 348 in yeah. my bag and I had 25 pounds. Yeah, and I had a 351 in my bag with the 2417. Yeah, it's great times. I'm going back. Yeah, so uh, Clear Lake, when you find them, it is amazing. If you do not, if you did not find them, it is a grinder out there. It is, we are not saying that it is lights out out there. Um, but if you find the schools, you definitely found them. And I think that's yeah. a lot of why it's not lights out is because they're pretty condensed in their pockets. Yeah. So, uh, don't be afraid to cover water and don't be afraid to, uh, lock down when you find a school. Yes. So they, they definitely will be there. And then, uh, the other little tip of advice I would say is if you pull into a school and they're not eating, leave them find another school, rotate through, come back to them. At some point they will eat and hopefully you can run into them at that time. Yeah. Um, I think that's, was there anything else? No, uh, pay attention to wind on Clear Lake. Yeah, pay attention to wind, uh, rule of thumb. If it says 10, it's 20. Yeah. <laughs> it's tw uh, it took me. It actually said that the wind was supposed to be 11 yeah. and I was driving in it going like 18 19 miles an hour and the wind was dead stale yeah. so obviously it's clear like be very careful for it yeah so it took me an hour to get back to the oaks from the north from basically rodman yeah and then it took me 30 minutes to get from uh basically kelsey creek back to uh the clear lake oaks ramp so um i think that's pretty much it if you have any questions Ask them down below. You can always hit me up on Instagram. And until next time, I hope you get them. Hi, Mom. <laughs> nah, I just... <laughs>